You may recall that in the previous lesson I mentioned that it was possible for the user to enter an invalid number. When this happens, an exception is thrown and the screen displays a backtrace through the code to explain the error and where it occurred. Now for you and I, that's probably the best information, but a user needs something a bit more friendly. Here at the bottom of the web XML file, I have added an error handler for all the servlets. It defines an error page that is to be shown when a specific type of exception has been thrown. In this case, it is the number format exception. When any servlet throws this exception, the page defined for it will be displayed. Notice that there is a slash in front of the page name but there has been no slash in front of the names of the servlets so far. This is not consistent and it really depends on the needs of the server. You may have to experiment a bit with this to find out exactly which way your server likes it. The server that comes with J2EE requires the slash here. Anyway, here's the source of the page. Nothing special goes on here. It's just a normal HTML page. You could use a Java server page instead of HTML and you could have a little more flexibility. You could, for example, get at the message information inside the exception if you wanted to show some of that. Now, one more change. The script that creates the war file has the new HTML page added to it. And that's all there is to creating an error page. It's a matter of making the new war file. And then deploying it as usual. And here's how it works. On the page where the numbers are entered, I'm going to enter at least one bad one. This is the error page. It briefly describes what a correct entry must be like and then suggests using the back button to return and make a correction. The user can then make the correction and move on.